Okay, so uh, Lulu Lee on one of the forums has uh, asked if she can have a look at how you use a photo to put texture on. Uh, this is the first time I've done it, more or less. Uh, so uh, this isn't so much a tutorial as a bit of an experimentation session. Uh, so I've imported Victoria, and what I want, you see I've done a few already, is to pick out a photo uh, that I want to use to texture her. As you can see, I've got a merchant resource here, which is quite comprehensive. Um, and I'm going to pick a photo. So I open. Uh, no, I don't want specular channel. And that's going to give me uh, a tummy. So, I do. Um, let's scale that a little bit. Uh, now, I want to work in the um, I can't even remember the name of it now. Orthographic mode for this. Uh, because in the other mode, it's uh, hard to keep the orientation right. So I'm just going to scale this down using the thing here till it is roughly uh, the size I want it. Obviously the size I want it is roughly the size of Victoria's tummy. Uh, let's zoom in so I can see it. Uh, it seems a little bit big still. So I'm just going to shrink that down and move it over. So that's lined up the tummy button which is obviously not lined up everything else. And your uh, your texture, obviously, your photo uh, it may not be uh, the same uh, size as the model you're painting onto. Uh, I think that's probably quite normal. Uh, and just something we have to deal with. Now you've got a choice here. You can either do it. Um, as it is, as you can see that's a little bit off centre even though a tummy button's in the middle and Victoria's tummy button's in the middle uh, or you could pick the side that you think is uh, the brightest, which I think is probably that one there uh, and use that one so let's make that a little bit bigger put a tummy button on let's get the symmetry going and it's simple white brush paint away And your uh, resource or your, your photo resource um, should have a lot of different angles in uh, because you're never going to get all angles from one photo. Um, so, another one in there now. Uh, no, yes. Uh, I want her side view from that angle. Uh, which is that one? Let's just have bigger things. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Not even when half naked ladies are uh, involved. Uh, so that was the one we started with. Lots of arms. Come on, where's the side view's gone? There's one there, but I don't want that one. <laughs> it's probably that one, which isn't going to refresh for me. Very useful. Uh, that one. Okay. And this is going to give me my side view. So if we go to uh, left. Let's move our model into the middle a bit. We can line up our uh, resource. Uh, extra size. Try and line it up as best we can. You see, this is going into the curve of the bottom, but I'm not going right to the edge of this bottom. I just want to. Uh, brush. I think there's a good policy on this not to go to the very edges. Uh, it's to kind of do the edges with uh, your next photo. Uh, okay, let's turn that off. See what it looks like. Okay, that is our uh, thing. Let's 
as we need a bit of back now. And I'm cutting this short uh, deliberately um, because I could be here all day showing you. Uh, and I'm just experimenting. Uh, yes. Uh, now I want a back. That one. Definitely make sure I'm on the back camera. Line up our texture. See where our uh, arms are there, which is very handy for our placement. Now, if it doesn't line up, you know, width-wise and such like, and I've got a bit of extra on there. Uh, you can use this distort tool uh, which will give you a bit more control uh, a little bit more idea of what's going on uh, bigger and I'm just going to paint it there Oops, I might have a spine a little bit off centre uh, what I'm going to do uh, is take that symmetry off down there to get a bit of a nicer uh, transition and to give you know, some left and right differences uh, ok so you get the idea, get your photo move it around uh, scale it, get it how you want it let's put some more up the back just for fun see if it's anywhere close to being right uh, and away you go controls it uh, we've got a bit of a uh, bit of an issue there. Uh, but if I turn that side one on again, uh, what I'm going to do is, whoops, I managed to change that. I've no idea how. Okay, let's go back to that one. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I'm just going to. Uh, over that there too, kind of blend them in a bit. Now you might be a bit more careful about the bit you, you're uh, selecting. Obviously, I've got a little bit of different uh, tones going on there. Um, but yeah, I'm just experimenting, just seeing how it works. And there we go, it's not too bad. There's some streaks in there that I will obviously deal with. And I've got about a minute left. Hopefully this will behave. Let's get that in there. Bit of scaling. Uh, got that uh, tummy button to work with that. That should do it. And go across the middle to take those symmetry uh, oddities out. So there you go. That's a good start. Uh, going to stop it now before I go over 10 minutes. And I'll do a more comprehensive one another time.